Yes, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me into this video. We're going to be talking all about newest release by Victoria Beckham. Just released stick blushes, her cheeky posh blushes. I just released five shades. I got two of them to show you. I'm gonna demo them for you. I'm gonna do some comparisons, first impressions. I'm gonna wear them for the whole day and let you know how they wear and all that good stuff. If this is first time here, I'm Gigi. I love to review luxury makeup. If you love that kind of content, go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe and also go to my Instagram because over there. I do keep you posted on the newest and latest makeup releases. So without further ado, let's start. Alrighty, friends. So let's get started. And I picked out two of Cheeky Posh by Victoria Beckham. I got the shade Knickers and a Roller Skate. And I am very excited. The description on these blushes just sound very beautiful. I love cream blushes. These are going to be long wearing. They're going to give you a natural finish. And um, yeah, they just they just sound amazing. These products are made in Italy. You get a 24 month shelf life, which is amazing for a cream blush. So that's very, very nice. I mean, these packaging is just so glorious. It's just like, hair primer so this is the primer and then this is the cream blush aren't these just stunning the presentation on this brand is just something else i've also got her bronzer here which also looks like that and we're gonna apply it after i apply the blush um so let's read on the description on the blush and what it promises cheeky posh cream blush stick Retails for 53 Canadian and it comes into five different shades. These blushes are described to have buildable color, velvety texture. The skin smoothing, long lasting cream chick color is a skin to a natural adrenaline rush. Clean, plant based esters and not silicone provide water resistant wear and perfect finish. I love how she added her logo, like the V, v right there. I think it's beautiful. So she says way to apply it. You could totally just use your fingers. And I want to try that. Why not? I don't usually do that. So I'm going to get creative here and do so. So this is going to be the lightest shade, Knickers. And I'm going to take with two of my fingers product there and just apply it and blend with my fingers. I did not set my base underneath, so I just have my foundation, the Valentino foundation, and I didn't um, set it. And this is not picking up my base. It's looking really pretty. I love the fact that it is really buildable. You can see that it is a beautiful shade of coral. I love corally blushes like this. They just look very natural, and they look like, you know, you're just pretty healthy, and you just drank a ton of water. It has a little bit of a sheen, if you can tell, um, but it's very subtle. It looks really beautiful. It looks very natural. I love it. The next one we're gonna apply it with a brush or um, beauty sponge, I'm not sure. I usually apply blushes like this with a brush. This one is a roller skate and it's the bright shade. I wanted something fun, so I'm going to warm it up at the back of my hand like so. Look at that. Very, very pigmented. And I'm going to take with my brush. Well, this color is so pretty. Look at that. It's very pigmented too. I like the brush application. I just find that it's so easy and quick. Look at that. It's not picking up my foundation at all. And it's just blending really pretty. It's a beautiful color. Look at that sheen. I look very healthy. I look, oh, there's a brush here, there. Put a little bit here, like I went. 
to the beach look at that this is so beautiful i love this bright coral shade i love it i mean that it looks just so natural look at that glow and then this one is also very pretty really softening to my cheeks she does say that they're meant to be, you know, just really softening, very natural. They're not going to emphasize a texture or anything. And I do have some texture going on right there, um, but it's not looking bad at all. So I'm loving this. I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer just because I always have to apply some bronzer. Just going to go under there. I have the shade 3 from her line. I don't even feel like I need highlighter at this point. It just looks so juicy. My complexion just looks so, yeah, it's just so juicy, so healthy, so pretty. Oh my God. This is a beautiful softening blush. I'm really into it. Let's do swatches. I'm gonna show you the lighter shade. So that's that. It um barely shows up on me as a swatch, but you saw with a little bit of building up. There's really no issue. And then you have the bright shade right there. I love that the shell life on these products are 24 months. That's a long time. <laughs> I feel like cream expires so quickly. I am always afraid to buy too many because then they'll go bad. So that's good to know. I'm gonna go digging into my collection to see what's similar to these tones and I'll be back for some of you. Okay friends, I'm back and I went digging into my collection to see what's similar. Um, I wanted to show you the shade Chouchette, which is very popular within Westment brand and this is what it looks like shushet is just a little bit more mauvey um than this one by victoria i'm surprised in here you get six grams of product and you get an 18 a month um shelf life and in here you get five grams of product for 24 month shelf life packaging are very luxurious both both being you know clean brand so if you were thinking about that and that's something important to you i think that's cool to keep in mind i also have this one by tower 28 which is a little bit bright and i don't know if it's gonna suit any of the two no like very bright coral and this one is just a um, you know dim down coral this one is rush hour by tar 28 so they're not very similar then we have this one by lys in the shade kindness um and i thought it may be similar to this but this one is a little bit more bright but on your cheeks, they're very, very similar, to be honest. I remember kindness being, you know, something very subtle on me, but buildable as well. And remember, LYS is super affordable and it's also a clean brand. So I really like their, their blushes. I also have this one in the shade Confident. So I think this is too deep. Or what we have going on here yeah it's too deep so never mind i thought it may be similar i also have this one by patrick ta in this shade do we know her which is his coral shade and again i can't believe i don't have anything like this i really don't look how patrick ta is just a little bit more say less opaque you see more glowy, less opaque. Victoria's is really um, like a one swipe kind of thing. It's very, very pigmented. It gives you a ton of pigmentation. And then I brought this one by Rare Beauty in the shade of Bliss, which is in their matte formula. So this is a different finish. The other ones were a little bit more glowy. But this one is also a pinky shade, which is actually similar to the first one that I applied. Just a little bit lighter, but even on my complexion, I'm able to like 
build it up and make it look beautiful and natural so I thought I'll share these comparisons so. alrighty guys so if you couldn't tell I really like these blushes I feel like they look so so pretty and glowy I forgot to mention but they don't completely set down and they don't set down to a powdery finish like I could feel a little bit of the blush but not a whole lot like it's not like it's sticky or it's gonna stick to my hair no it doesn't stick to my hair so that's a good proof that it's not gonna you know it's not too sticky that's what I mean but when it, when it comes to the two colors that I picked out, I love them. I feel like this is such a bright and beautiful shade. It could be sheer down, you know, or it could be built up for whatever you're looking for. And I also love this one. I wanted to get the lightest shade on the line just to make sure that it was going to show up on my complexion. I am a medium, medium tannish um, right now. And so I feel like it shows up so, so pretty. I was able to build it up, as you saw, with my fingers such a an easy application no fuss kind of product I love that I didn't feel afraid to pick up my foundation you know when I was applying it with my finger or with the brush either of them picked out my foundation so that's something huge when it comes to a cream product as I said it doesn't set down to a powdery finish but it is not sticky so it's not really gonna grab onto your foundation you don't want to have to worry about you know messing around with a difficult product to apply Love the packaging, love it so much. They're so cute, so pretty. They're so substantial on my fingers. They don't have a magnetic closure, but you know, I don't think this will go flying on your makeup bag if um, you carry them. They're so slick and thin. You can see them side by side with Westmend. Westmend is really, really thick. So I love the fact that these are tall and longer because they're not gonna occupy a lot of space in your makeup bag. So I feel like this is one product that I could just take on my makeup bag and truly, when I need blush, just apply no mess with my fingers however I want it and I'll be good to go. I think these are beautiful. These are winners in my book. I also love that they're clean and I love that they have a 24 month shelf life which is very very long i love it i love it love it love Alrighty, it friends and that's it for now make sure to check out my pin comment i'm gonna let you know how these blushes were i'm gonna wear them for the whole day so i'm gonna let you know if they're really long wearing and all that good stuff uh, let me know what do you think of these blushes did you like the colors what do you think of the comparisons the application any comments anything at all just drop it below thanks so much you guys for your love and support do not forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you my next one